Hello everyone, it's Rachel again. This is my fifth ep episode. Um, I'm sorry the last episode was a bit short. I was kind of distracted and I had to be somewhere. Um, but can I just say thank you to anyone who's watching. You know, I know there's not a lot of people out there that are watching this, but thank you. I do appreciate it that you're if you are actually coming back and you've watched my whole series. So thank you. Um, but we are continuing to look around the house of horrors i'm just gonna have a look around and let's see where see what we can find now, it would be interesting if these turned into little cupboards that we could hide into hide into like you know like uh in alien that would be good um let's have a look uh oh what is this got a wolf here a wolf rug that's that's a bit mean Looks like Daniel Lambert has sat on it. If you don't know who Daniel Lambert is, then Google it. I've got a cat here that is meowing. <laughs> Willow. This is the problem when you don't shut the shut the door. <laughs> Can you? Are you meowing? What are you doing? Get off the keyboard. Uh, distracting me. That's what you're doing. Give the meow then. Meow. You're not gonna meow for us now. We'll get down then. Okay, sorry about that. I'll carry on now. I got very distracted by the cat. I wonder what that is. Um, so let's just carry on. So I'm guessing that Chad is, you know, Chad there. <gasps> oh, Chad is going to make us jump. I thought Chad was following me then. Oh. Oh, okay, so these are probably going to have some stupid woman like the witch. The cat makes, keeps making me jump as well. Willow, you're going to have to go out. I'm just going to pause this a second. Sorry about that guys, this is like, sometimes having a, a cat is like having a child, well, I've, not, I've never had a child but I imagine that sometimes they can be quite, ooh, ah, that really scared me, <laughs> what the hell is that, I thought it was a bomb, I saw a green flashing light and I thought it was a bomb, you don't scare me, go away. Get out of the way with your shitty little... That looks like a drill. Are you... F okay. This is weird. It's really weird because it looks like you're f they're following you, but they're not. Ooh, you're a bit scary, aren't you? Devil. Hello. You don't look very happy. Has someone ate all your cereal? Well, I wish I had muscles like that. Anyway, I'll leave you to it, mate. Don't go following me, though. Because that's rude. Okay, that's just moved. But, you know. Do you know what, actually? If if a haunted house was like this, I'd probably go on it. But most haunted houses nowadays are the same. They're all rubbish. They will probably scare if you're a child. It's gonna come at me, isn't it? Come at me, bro! Come at me! I'm just waiting for something to make me jump. Why can't I read these books? Ugh. See, I'm not, I'm not scared very easily. However, um, I jump really easily. I thought that was a map. Oh, you, you can piss off, you little shit. You did actually make me jump there. But you're not going to make me run. You'll never make me run. Don't 
Leute. Ich mach Hardy. Äh, uh, you shouldn't use God's name in vain. Is that I is that you know? Is that really No, I'm joking, I'm not gonna Oh my god, what's this? Oh it's light. Oh that was a bit bright. No, but you're not behind me though, are you? So don't lie to me. Where is my boy? Where is my boy? <sighs> it wouldn't surprise me if he was already dead. If he's been dead for years and I've imagined the whole thing. You know Hello. Um, right, I was gonna go and sit down and just have a bit of peace. Okay, what's what's this way? What have you done with him? Oh fuck off. Me lights me lights go in. Right. Right, I assume What's this way? Who was that? Oh you fucker. Did actually scare the life out of me. Hello. Okay, I think that's the way we came original. So let's just go out. Let's go out the door. This the way out. Okay, this isn't the way out. My light's gonna go, isn't it? And I'm gonna be in the dark. I can see it, I can see it. I'm calling it now. Oh, you fucker. Ooh! <laughs> I should have seen that coming, but it still f made me pee myself. I've actually just pee myself. So, I don't know who's going to clean it up. Are you? Did that make anyone else jump? If you're watching. Because it really did make me jump. Okay. Ooh. Read page. And since then I cannot dismiss them as a random chance. The park works, but something is interfering with the internet intended function. It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages it draws attention. Okay, I'd rather not have the boys in blue. You'd be kind investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I'd rather like to be... So the employees are stabbing them. Okay. So the man that let me in probably part of it. Oh, that did scare me a bit. Did anyone hear that? Boo! Oh, that didn't make me jump. That didn't. You didn't get me there. You didn't quite get me there. When when is this gonna end? Hello. Let's follow this guy. Hello. Hello, my name's Rachel. I'm gonna do a show for you. Right, let's follow in then. Ugh. Never go down a cellar. Ugh. It's always going to end badly, isn't it? And it won't let me open that one. It won't let me open that one. 
and obviously it's going to let me open that one. Okay, so I've not got my light on. Oh, look, there's a creepy little doll for you there, children. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, no shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Dawn. Watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing oh, me. Oh, okay. So we can see ghosts. I devoted myself to Callum. Or something. The told me. Or we know that they're, they're there at least. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Hmm. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. It's from Virgin Media. No. Ha! <laughs> Make the payment list on your last bill. Blah, blah, blah. It's just a bill. No one cares. Bye. Uh, okay. Examine. The routine. Meh. Oh. Oh, bollocks, what have I done? I've tipped it upside down and left, right and bloody... Okay. The so flares struck the earth. Millions of people uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chance Alara O'Hara is the key to saving the world again. Okay, whatever, I don't care. Someone's underneath that. Examined. I love you from camp. What the fuck? Okay, that's fucking weird. That is pretty weird. Okay, we've got Callum's drawing. She's not going to make a comment on that though, is she? Got Callum's drawing and some weird, creepy ass dolls. I'm probably going to meet our death in here as well. What's this? What's that? What are you chopping this? Drop off Callum. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apple, fish, six. Remember, drop off Callum. I love that's part of the shopping list, you know, because we obviously see Callum as a bloody item or something. Fix. What? Well, I don't even know what that says. Examine wench. Let's get it. Can we have it? Can we pick it up? No! We need that! We can use that to protect ourselves! I wonder if I can... No. It's a good job there's no skill involved in this because I think I'll probably be terrible. Oh, can I have some? Can I have a drink? A nice drink of water there. Some crappy potatoes and some chicken. No. Okay. See where we are. No, okay, nothing there. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all the years ago and then disappeared off the edge of the map. And then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer my letters. And now you write to me asking for help. I have another family and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open, oh, picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. So this is my is this my mother? Move to your tree to you. Okay, so my mother's letter. It's like, is this like the bit in what's the film called Insidious? <laughs> Miss 
Maylord, as we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is uh, is this our mental illness or something? Right, okay, this is all going to be a dream, isn't it? Or something, or like my imagination. There's got to be a purpose for me examining these things. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There were also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her and as long as she follows her rec recommended aftercare routine and continues her medication, we have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own house in her and her employer, Susie, has said that she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum which, while Lorraine works. It is with this support what network in mind that we feel confident releasing the rain from this institution. Okay, so we'll get a prescription as well. So, I was only in there for a month. Maybe that was the thing on the roller coaster when I was tripping and I was going back to the hospital. I'm crying to the state of Mr. Donald Williams has being completely we regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including his life insurance settlement for accident death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Fortunately, they were not set to talk overtures and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they considered you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. What a bastards! They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand this may be may have a negative effect on your current financial situation. I hope that I'm not being too forward when I enclose the bill for services in the settle. <gasps> That's sad, isn't it? So your partner dies, and then he, the, his parents get all the money, and you get nothing. And but you get left with a bill. That's, God, no wonder she's depressed. So I read that. Yeah, right. Okay, get it over with. Kill me. If, you, if that's what you're gonna do. Oh, this is like PT. No, it's gonna let me open the door again this time, isn't it? It's gonna let me open this one. Okay, I'm gonna have more things. So. Nightmare Circus Park. It was a wait, 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 waiting on a child for take, take, taking the park. It was a wait, wait, waiting on child for take, take, taking. Using joy for bait, bait, baiting while the mother's mind is breaking. And I'll <laughs> I'm not going to say that. What I thought he said. Uh, that's so. These are my pills. Are these for me, probably. Okay, let's see what's over here. Read letter. Rain, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard every day working at the park. It gets worse. I could spring inside my mind, whining tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're, we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. When this job is done, we read, read, we need to get out of this space this place we need to go back to the city why well, i don't feel like this anymore i love you donald p.s i was thinking about names for boys and girls i like calum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl um so i think i'm going to leave it there because i think it's quite a long episode as it is um but i will continue next time if you want to watch feel free don't forget to put press subscribe please and like my videos 
because I don't really get any likes at all. I don't mean to be, I'm not playing sob story or anything, but, you know, it would make my day. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.